Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Greenlight unboxing video. And we got the latest series of Hollywood, Hollywood Series 32. And of course, as always, these are sealed cases. Um, and they're not my cars. These are my buddy Die Castrums. He gets everything shipped through me before it goes to him. You know, long story longer, he lives overseas and all that stuff. And I've explained it every single time. And I will explain it every single time. So you can comment all you want about it in the comments down below. But yes, Die Castrum, check him out on YouTube. Check him out on Instagram. He's a super cool dude. And uh, just one of my buddies in the hobby. And uh, I'm fortunate to be his friend and be able to help him out. And of course, he helps me out by uh, providing some content for the channel so pretty awesome all right so let's go ahead and, and get into this um i don't recall what's all in this i i think there's a yeah you know maybe i just shouldn't say anything i don't i don't know for sure i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up um i like kind of going into these cases blind i think there's one that i know that's in this series and i know there's one that i think i'm definitely gonna get um but let's go ahead and open them up and we might score chase who knows uh, we might not uh, but either way we get to check these out we get to see what's in this uh, latest series of hollywood crazy that they're already at hollywood series 32 i think the only other series from Greenlight that has been this long running or has had this many series is hot pursuit I, mean, I think that's it of course they've always done some uh, muscle cars and stuff like that but they've kind of changed the name like there's been gl muscle and then there's been whatever muscle car garage they kind of switched that up in the middle there but uh but yeah hollywood hopper suit kind of mainstays for green light and uh very you know collectors love these series so let's go ahead and and uh, see what we got all right so first in from the rookie never watched the series uh, is a 1971 Chevy Chevelle SS. So we can take a look at the card art on these. The card art is going to be obviously unique to each vehicle because it is the Hollywood aspect of, you know, or whatever, where these cars came from. So apparently the 71 Chevelle SS in blue was in this uh, series. Here's a look at the back of the card. The Rookie. I don't even know what network. Oh, ABC. There you go. 2021 ABC Signature LLC. Right? 14 plus on this one. Which means that's the rating for the show. Not really for the car, right? Uh, pretty nice basic version of this casting. Looks pretty good. I've got some versions of this casting already, so I don't know that I will pick this one up. But... Um, it is pretty cool nonetheless. Can't see a serial number on the bottom of these. I usually like to look for that just in case we get a uh, like number one or something. Who knows? That might be interesting. Um, there you go. Nice basic muscle car. So if you're a Chevelle fan, you know, not the band, but the, the vehicle, or maybe both. I don't know. Uh, this might be one for you to pick up. Otherwise, if you're a fan of the Rookie, which I don't know. Is that a comment down below? Is that like a... Was that a very popular show? Um, I don't know. I know I've never seen it. All right, so there's that. But there's a lot of things I haven't seen. Oh, this thing is awesome. Okay, this is one I would definitely... I, I think I might grab this one, as crazy as it is. This is a 1989 Chevrolet S10. Chevy S10. Um, monster truck, obviously, from Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, definitely this movie's not as good as the first Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Uh, but I believe it was pretty funny as well. I don't know, Jim Carrey, yeah, I guess I'm a fan of him. In movies and stuff, he's hilarious. Kind of always has been, right? I don't know. Uh, series 32. Again, Carter. There you go. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. The legendary pet detective, A. Ventura, returns for another adventure. I don't really remember the second movie, to be honest with you. It's not as memorable, obviously, as the first one. That first movie, the first Ace Ventura movie, I just remember seeing previews of it 
when I was, you know, whenever younger, uh, you know, when it was coming out and hitting theaters and stuff like that. And I was like, that looks like the dumbest movie I've ever seen. And then, you know, of course, I gave it a chance once it actually hit uh, whatever, maybe VHS at that time. Yeah. And then thought it was absolutely hilarious. It's like, wow, this movie is actually great. So, yeah. Anyway, big fan, I suppose. And this would be one. I don't pick up a lot of these monster trucks just because I don't have room to store them. This might be one I get. It just might be. We'll see. So, really cool. Can't see the serial number on the bottom of that one either. Uh, next up is from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. 1983 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. I believe Terminator 2 was the first rated R movie that I ever saw as a kid. Or maybe I shouldn't say it's the first rated movie that I ever saw as a kid. It was the first rated R movie, I believe, that my dad let me see as a kid. And I think he thought this movie was awesome. And that's why he's like, yeah, yeah maybe we'll, we'll let you, you watch it. Uh, 83 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. Um, of course, it's a police car. Um, it's cool. Real cool. So, digging that. Let's take a look at the logo there. Protect and serve police. That's pretty awesome. So, I don't know if I'll get this one. I, I loved the movie. The movie's um, great, obviously. Terminator, the first two Terminator movies were pretty awesome. And, um, yeah. I remember as a kid, too, like, drawing that thing a lot, or at least trying to. And uh, just being fascinated with this movie when I was young. So, yeah. So, maybe I'd get this one. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But uh, this next one, I think, yeah, this is the one I'm, I was excited for. This one I will definitely pick up. The 79 Ford LTD Country Squire. Uh, this is fantastic. I will definitely scoop this. And uh, for good reason. Not only is it because it's from like a film that I, you know, hold dear to some degree. Uh, but also because it's just a fantastic version of a weathered station wagon. So why not? They could have just put this out in their, you know, whatever wagons release, the state wagons release, all dirtied up and looking like this, and I would want it then as well. So, card art on these two is identical, with the exception of the strip that tells us what, what the car is inside the car. So, they got to save a little bit on there. It's actually literally the same everywhere on the back here, everywhere. Um... All the licensing is the same, obviously. They're both Fords, so I guess they, you know, got the save on making card art. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm definitely digging that one. That This one I will pick up for myself, uh, absolutely for sure. If I get a hold of it easy, um, I will definitely grab it. Which, the Hollywood series, I guess, has been showing up at Walmarts in the U.S. now, so... Maybe I'll have a chance at just picking it off the shelf there. Although, they have definitely been sparse. Uh, they show up and they and they go away right away. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah. That one is definitely a highlight for me. Uh, next is from The Greatest American Hero. The 1981 Dodge Diplomat. And... You guys know my pop culture knowledge is not uh, fantastic. I don't know what it, this is, to be honest. Uh, do, 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 do. Busty's driving seriously drives itself out into the desert. Visited by aliens? Hmm. Maybe I should watch this. It does sound kind of interesting. I don't even know when this is. This, a, this is a movie. Is this a series? I think it's probably a movie. Somebody's gonna put it in the comments down below and educate me. Uh, but maybe this would be a fun one to watch. I don't know. 
And I'm looking for like a is there a copyright on like any of the licensing for the movie? I don't know. Or series or I'm not sure. But it's a Dodge Diplomat. It's like in this butterscotchy whatever cream color. And uh pretty basic, pretty decent. Um, probably won't grab this one because I do already have some versions of this casting and I don't know that I need one in this color, but it's not bad. It looks all right. That's a maybe. Um, and then lastly, we get from Dexter, a 2001 Ford Crown Victoria. So Dexter, um... I did watch that whole series as it came out, and I gotta say, I did like it. Um, definitely was better, as most series are. It was, you know, really good to start with, and then it got, I don't know, a little hokey or whatever. But uh, it's not bad, and I guess it's coming back. Dexter's coming back. That might be interesting. Should I give it a chance? Maybe. I don't know. Dexter was a pretty decent show, though. This is the Miami Police, obviously. I might get this one anyway. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I will. It is a Crown Vic, it's, and uh, I have quite a few of those. I don't know if I need another one. Uh, but I did like the show. I wasn't like super into it, but I did like it. And uh, yeah, there you have it. All right, so not a bad mix. We get two Terminator 2 releases, and I know for sure I'm going to get one of them. I, I think probably the two, my top two, are going to be these two for the series. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below, but these are probably the only two that I'm actually going to grab. I would think about the Dexter one, but <clears throat> I don't know. These two for sure. I think I'm going to grab this one, definitely the fave. So... You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right. Thank you for watching another Greenlight unboxing episode. Check out the Greenlight playlist for several more of these uh, unboxing videos. So, tons of them. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good day.